Get ready. If you're like me, this Clone Trooper release has been nothing short of absolute hype. These figures are awesome. Are they perfect? No. They've got a couple issues. But man, it is so satisfying to get articulated modern day versions of the classic Tartakovsky series, Arc Trooper and Arc Trooper Captain Fordo. These guys are awesome. I will have a total of 10 of the blue Arc Trooper, uh, but I've just got two Fordos because, I mean, one loose, one carded, you know. Because, man, I needed to keep a couple of these sampled in the box because these packages are absolutely awesome. They are super, super cool. And seeing these figures on these cards is just surreal to me. Absolutely love it. So, with that being said, let's take these loose ones out of the way and take a quick look at the card backs because these are so nice. So, let's look at the blue one first because we have a little bit more to talk about with the red. Uh, you can see the figure is nicely packed in there and looks stellar. Uh, you can see he's, he's got his ARC Trooper rifle, which unfortunately doesn't come with the figure. He is a straight repaint of Fordo, including the pistols and the holsters. <sighs> we'll talk about that. Uh, but you can see it does have the 50th Lucasfilm logo on the top. I have voiced my not big fanness of that. I'm um, not really into that logo being there, uh, but it's not the end of the world. I don't know why the warning has to be down here. I don't know why it couldn't just be up here, but man, look at that. Look at that Star Wars Clone Wars logo. That mwah, French kiss. French kiss. You can see the back. You got a picture of a few troopers there taking their aim, making their shots. Uh, you can see the, the rifles they used. They were like um, DC-15s. They were like DC-15 rifles, but they had like extended magazines. I was always kind of confused about the weapons that the ARC Troopers used in the show, which is why I'm not too worried about, you know, him just coming with pistols, because if you're a clone collector like me, you're going to have plenty of extra weapons. You can see, though, 2003 to 2005. Man, I remember, remember when this series came out. Uh, we couldn't stay up to actually watch the premiere, so my mom recorded it on VHS tape. Uh, those were the days. Here is the ARC Trooper Captain box. Um, for whatever reason, uh, Hasbro has an aversion to ever actually calling him Fordo with actual official products. I don't really know if there's ever really been an actual Captain Fordo figure that has been called Captain Fordo. I'll have to think about that. I'll get back with you on that. There, there's my answer. I, I want to say no, but we'll see. <laughs> Love the picture they chose. Love it. It's uh, basically the first time you ever see him. You know, after obi Wan speech, you are the best, uh, the elite, you know what to do. And look at that picture back there, too. Yes, perfect. The mission to Moonalist. Oh, man. Awesome, awesome card backs. But I do want to leave this card back here, because we do have a comparison to make between this card back and the original release of Captain Fordo in the Vintage Collection with this. So it's kind of funny how this new one's called Arc Trooper Captain, but the old one was called Arc Trooper Commander. Uh, you can see this actually has a realistic interpretation of Fordo here on the package. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. Um, you can see he's holding a rifle. He did come with alternate pieces to make him his Phase 2 version, and his armor was specifically colored more to fit with the Phase 2 version. But they still included the Phase 1 armor, which was absolutely awesome, and they totally didn't have to, but I'm so happy that they did. Uh, but you can definitely see how the card back has changed, even with the little logos and things and the warnings. Um, and actually flipping it over, you can see how it shows the very first version of Captain Fordo on the back. And right here, you can see how different the backs of the cards are, too. Some people may be wondering, how is the quality of the cards? Because I know some people say, oh, the new cards are flimsy garbage. Um, let me give it a feel. I can tell you the old one is definitely a little stiffer, uh, just a little bit. Like, let's see, a little bit of flex. Yeah, definitely, definitely a little bit stiffer, but I don't feel like that made it any less prone to damage. So, honestly, I do wish the cards were, like, made out of a way firmer material. Uh, but I think they just like keeping it more classic to how the cards were back in the day. 
So, we spent five minutes just talking about the gorgeous packaging. Now let's talk about the figures. So, like I said, they are great. Are they a dream come true? Actually, yes. <laughs> but they are not perfect. Uh, but just look at those, man. Ooh. Oh, man, I can't wait to have all ten ARC Troopers. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be so awesome. Uh, so let's talk about the mold real quick. Because it is the same mold that we have known for over ten years now. Um, it is the modern clone trooper body. And you may be thinking, oh, you just reviewed that Bad Batch 4-pack. You talked about how you don't really like that body too much. That is true. I don't really like this body with Phase 2 clone troopers. Something about this body with Phase 1 troopers, I genuinely really, really like. I don't know, man. Something about it. Something about this body with Phase 1. Just, I feel like it works better. I feel like the proportion with the helmet works better. I feel like the slenderness works better. I still wish they would change the hands. But other than that, man, I love this mold. One thing I do want to point out um, with the paint. Uh, the paint is pretty good on all of my copies I have. Um, but I do want to say there have been a little bit of inconsistencies. Uh, if you look very, very closely at my Fordo, you can see that the frown is not perfectly lined up. And you can see how, especially on that chin there, that little black mark isn't perfectly in the spot. Um, this is actually one of the worst samples of the blue arc trooper I have. You can see that's the little mold line for the frown. And you can see how it's kind of off-center. Like, that's the... I mean, it's ever so slight. You're not going to notice it from, you know, a distance. It looks perfectly fine. But I do want to say that is a paint issue, um, just consistency. It's not the best, but it's not nearly as bad. One thing I do have to say, though, and I'm super proud, when these figures were revealed, they had stripes on the shoulders. They had shoulder stripes. That is not accurate to the ARC Troopers. It's accurate to say the clone officers, but not the ARC Troopers. Because as you can see on the card back here, they very clearly had fully colored shoulder pads. So I'm very happy that they went back and colored the shoulder pads as they should have um, instead of just leaving them as stripes. Um, I do have to say they do not have uh, high detailing for the communicator. Number one, they should have something on this arm. I wish they would have sculpted a new piece uh, where he had, where they can have the uh, little like extra gauntlet. Uh, but that's not the, a big deal, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I'm not that worked up about it, but I wish it was there. One thing, though, that's very perplexing to me, he's got red knees. They have colored knees. They colored the knees. Um, it's not accurate. They should be white. You can see white knees right there. And if we flip it, uh, I think you'll see it best on the card back of this one. No, you can't see it on this. <laughs> um, trust me, they should have white knees. Uh, but they are they are colored. Now, is that a big deal? No, not really at all. Um, if it bugs you that much, take a little bit of acetone to the knee and wipe the paint off. Um, you know, it's it'll come off. I actually don't mind. I actually think that little extra color down there helps with the design. <laughs> it's not accurate, but I can't say I can complain. It still looks nice. Uh, but if I would have my preference, I would say you should not do that. That's not accurate. Uh, but, really do like the silver on the helmet there. I think that looks really nice. Uh, the shoulder pauldron looks perfect. I love it. Especially to the animated ARC Troopers. That looks so good. Um, I mean, it's the same mold we've seen for years and years. Uh, the mold that has issues holding the weapons. Especially these, uh, these long pistols. I've never known exactly what Captain Fordo's pistols are, you know? I've never really known. They've always kind of looked like they're DC-15 carbines, but they're not. They're like something different. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I do actually want to make a loose comparison uh, with Captain Fordo. I want to compare him to the original Vintage Collection version. You can see it is the same helmet sculpt, uh, but this one is definitely thinner with the striping. You can see how the arm paint's different. Maybe they derived the red knees from the original. Uh, because that one does, because it's more faithful deco-wise to the Phase 2 version of Fordo. But you can see it's fairly similar. And one good thing is if the uh, if you don't like the full colored face, if you'd prefer more like 
uh, clone officer styled striping. Because obviously in the Clone Wars, like if you pay attention, the f whole entire front of the helmet is colored like this. That's how it is. Um, but for the officers, it's, you know, the thin stripe. Really appreciate that deco choice. Uh, but, you know, if it bugs you that much, you could always swap the helmets. And I guess it's about time we remove that helmet and take a look here. Because you can see it is that same face we have known all this time from this figure. Ooh, get off. You can see it looks a lot better uh, with that face print. Uh, but still, it's it's a cool head sculpt. Um, and I like it for Fordo, but as we'll see, you know, they used it for the Blue Arc Trooper too. Here, let's just swap these helmets real quick so you can kind of get a look. Just out of curiosity, how the uh, if you'd prefer to have that helmet. I do have to say the paint consistency was better with the helmet on this one. For some reason, man, Hasbro with their printing, like, it's it's ever so slightly off. It's not off enough to bug me. It's not off enough to be jarring or ugly, but I can tell it's a little off. Um, like, one thing with the consistency, too, I can actually show you. Between my carded version and my loose version, um, this one actually doesn't look that good. Um, you can see the red's a little off to the side up there. Um, the visor is way more up. Um, there's less red up above than there is on this one. Maybe it's like this one's maybe printed a little higher. Um, I don't know. It's. I wish it was a little more consistent. Uh, honestly, if I would have, if I could have picked which one to open, um, I, I think I prefer this one. Honestly, I didn't really have a choice which one to open because the second one I got came with a crushed bubble. Uh, like there was an actual gash in the bubble, so I didn't really have a choice. So yeah, that's uh, that's something there. We already know the articulation of this figure. We've known it for a decade. I'm going to run it down real quick. You can see it's it's got the motions. It's got the moves. Um, how easy is it to take off the the belt? Um, looks like it's pretty much the same as the original, so you can take that off pretty easy if you'd want. Uh, yeah, I mean, it moves. It's that same clone mold we have seen many, many times by now. Uh, but honestly, I have no complaint. You can see the comma is also similar but different. Definitely thicker stripe right there. Um, the guns fit in the holster is pretty nice. It was very rubbery on the original. Very rubbery holds. Uh, I'm happy to report it's a little stiffer on the new one. I feel like it stays in a little better. Um, they're definitely a little stiffer. Um, but yeah, there's Captain Fordo. Pretty much said and done. I will make one more comparison near the end. Uh, I want to compare these to uh, what I considered previously the, the definitive ARC Troopers. Now, I do want to I do want to make this statement. Do I consider these the definitive Phase 1 ARC Troopers? Uh, while we're looking at the blue one here, which is basically the same thing but blue, uh, <laughs> is it definitive? Well, you do have to pay attention to the fact that it does have the, uh, the holsters and it does have four of those guns, even though it shouldn't. Uh, with me, I'm going to be having 10 of these things, so <laughs> I'm going to keep at least a few of them with the holsters and the pistols, uh, and I think a couple of them may have actually had this layout, but most of them had just normal pouches. Actually, the pouches were a little larger, you can see on the card there, uh, but what's attached to it is basically a normal pouch. I'll probably, I've already snipped off a couple, you know, just snip off the holster and give them different weapons. Uh, I do have a couple of the actual ARC Trooper guns uh, that were released in the 2008 Clone Wars. Uh, ARC Trooper Battle Pack. I actually have a couple of them, which is cool. So I've got that with a couple ARC Troopers. I'll give them DC-15 rifles and carbines. One's got a minigun. I'll give one a rocket launcher. If you have this many, you want them to have diverse weapons. So I really can't complain, because I have plenty of weapons. But some collectors may not have plenty of weapons if they're getting this. Uh, if they're getting, you know, multiples of these, and these are like some of their first clones. I would say try to track down some weapons for them, because uh, it would be kind of lame if all of them just have Captain Fordo pistols. But man, uh, yeah, seeing it as it is, is it definitive... Maybe not, um, when it comes to, like, the weapon layout and the fact that it doesn't have, uh, doesn't have, uh, <clears throat> you know, the unique traits that they should, like with the little, uh, arm gauntlet, uh, it does have the painted knees, uh, but still, I would say, you know, cut off those holsters on some of them, give them different weapons, I would consider these, this Fordo and this Blue Arc Trooper, the definitive version of the Arc Troopers you can get. I would, I would make that claim.
Um, I mean, I'm looking at these and I'm like, yeah, these are these are the ARC troopers that I'm perfectly happy having a massive army of. I'm I'm pretty happy with that choice. Um, do want to show though? It does have that same head underneath? Uh, it is kind of disappointing that it's not the Echo head. One thing I'm curious about, though, I want to test to this theory. A lot of people have been like, oh, man, I wish they used Arc Trooper Echo's head. Here, I've got my Echo. Let's see if it would have even fit. You can see similar size. Definitely a way better sculpt. Look at that. Way better sculpt. I'm curious if the Phase 1 helmet would fit on this new head. It does. Um, man, these pistols on the newer ARC Troopers come out so easily. Okay, so it fit on. Will it come off without taking the head with it? That is another question. Oh, it's rough. But it does. Um, so I can say if they had that theory where it's like, oh, man, I don't know if we can use the, the new head. I don't know if the helmet will fit. It fits. It's a little tight, a little snug, but it fits. You can see, though, on Echo, this is another case. I feel like I need to get another Echo um, before it's too late. I actually had to repaint that visor because it was totally off. Um, so it's definitely a shame that the print consistency on clones isn't as good as it used to be. But yes, with this, get out of there, little, little Fordo. With this, I do want to make the last comparison before I end this video. Here are what I consider the new definitive ARC Troopers, and forgive them because these guys are on bases, next to what I consider to be the definitive ARC Troopers for years and years, the Order 66 versions. Now let me say, the Order 66 ones are not accurate to the Tartakovsky series whatsoever. They are not. They are like a realistic interpretation. Uh, they have like officer stripes instead of like the more solid block coloring like the animated series had. Uh, but they do have more ARC Trooper dedicated details. Like they have extra armor on the, uh, the arms. They do have the little wrist gauntlet. They do have the leg detailing. Uh, they do have more detailed camas. Um, oh no, mine's yellowing on the back. That's lovely. I love that so much. He's been facing forward for years, but apparently his back's gotten sun bleached. <sighs> Ridiculous. <laughs> but you can see it's got the striping. Um, it does have a more to more Morrison looking face underneath. But it's definitely a harder figure to get. Um, I wanted an army of this blue arc trooper. I wanted to get 10 of it. <laughs> I wanted to have the Monolith 10 in this mold. But I only managed to get three because they're very hard to get for a cheap price. I was looking for them for 20 or less, and it's very hard to get these for 20 or less. But hey, for around 13 bucks each, I got myself 10 of these, and I am more than happy with that. Honestly, weighing the pros and cons and like which ones, I would actually say I prefer these as my go-to ARC troopers now because uh, they do have way more articulation, especially in the legs, especially with the fabric camo. Um, especially with the, uh, the shoulder pauldron, because the pauldrons on these definitely limited them. Uh, I would, I would go with the, uh, with the new ones. If you're looking for ARC Troopers, I try to get the new ones. But, let's talk about that. Getting the new ones. Walmart exclusive. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing. Thankfully, I was able to pre-order these and get mine, but I pre-ordered them eight months ago. You had to be there. Uh, they have come back in stock. Since then, uh, Captain Fordo, he's been fairly easy to order again. The whole entire wave has, but the blue ARC Troopers. Uh, because people like me, want to scoop up 10 of them, uh, are a little harder to get. Now, am I bad for having 10 of them? Oh, you have 10 of those ARC Troopers and I couldn't even get one? No. I bought as many as I wanted. I have the right to do that. I don't really army build too often. This is a very rare thing for me. I'm very happy that I'm going to have 10 ARC Troopers to have the Monolith 10. You know that picture of Captain Fordo? Here, I'll show it. This picture. I want to replicate this picture. That's what I want to do. So I got 10 ARC Troopers. <laughs> you know? So, yep, there we go. There is my review of the much-anticipated and very, very awesome and exciting Tartakovsky series Vintage Collection ARC Troopers. 
this was a very positive review. Are these figures perfect? No, I would say the main issues are going to be some paint consistencies, uh, the knees being painted colored, even though they shouldn't be, they should just be white. Uh, I do wish the blue ARC Trooper didn't have Captain Fordo's head, but it's not the end of the world. We're not going to really be taking their helmets off anyway. Uh, and I do wish the blue ARC Trooper maybe had a different weapon, uh, maybe if they would have given him a new belt. But honestly, man, if this was the only way to give it to us by just doing a straight repaint of Fordo with no new tooling, I'll take it. If this was the only way to make it happen, I cannot complain. Uh, but honestly, man, awesome figures, great posability. They look great in general. Highly recommended. Go get them. Go get them, man. As an ARC Trooper fan, I'm a huge ARC Trooper fan. Uh, I am more than happy. I am very, very satisfied. These are by far some of my favorite figures that will be released this year. They're definitely going to make my top 10 figures of the year. I don't see any other way. I've been so hyped for these for so long. And I'm very happy and relieved that Walmart did not cancel my order. Yes, thank you so much. But let's give it a month. And then we'll have the Black Series, Captain Fordo, to talk about. And I think that one's going to be a different story. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. Thank you all so much for the continued support. And alright, there we go. Arc Trooper said and done. Now you may be wondering, where's the review of the other ones? I'll get to it. Um, it's not really going to be much of a review because I'm not going to be opening them up. But I will showcase them. Uh, but I'm waiting on Luminara. I don't know where my Luminara is. I'll have to, I'll have to wait for that. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll see ya. Bye.